what's going on guys it's Ben from Parker Bates and welcome back to another video something different this one this is going to be a how-to and something new to the Parker Bates YouTube channel now I'm going to be talking in depth in this video about obviously Parker Bates products and how to prep your OG fruit and nut before I start this video though guys what I will say my name's Ben if you haven't seen me before we normally upload every Sunday 7 30 to the Parker Brothers YouTube channel and it's not it's a it's normally a, a longer video should we say normally a not a lot not a lot longer over 30 minutes where a lot of people join in get involved with me there's obviously people like-minded like myself there's a bit of banter thrown in the mix as well it's just great all around we enjoy the video together obviously again like I just mentioned this is something slightly different this is going to be a how-to so without further ado let's start this video so boom first up and like I mentioned our OG fruit and nut a bait dearly close to my heart and it really is devastating all year round due to the due to the oil content within this bait now what is the OG fruit and nut I probably should touch on that before I, before I tell you how I prep it so what is the OG fruit and nut the OG fruit and nut consists of three different flavorings and these bespoke flavorings that myself and my brother and the family actually got made and liaised with the people that do that anyway the chocolate orange peanut and coconut three devastating flavorings that have been around for decades and I'm sure will be around for decades to come to come when you can put when you combine these three together it has created this absolute game changer of a bait so within the fruit and nut there's good tiger nut meal content good clo levels and various other different products again guys i'm not going to bore you with that but if you do want to if you do want to learn a little bit more about the fruit and nut in depth head over to parkerbaits.co.uk and it says it in full depth in our website so that is the fruit and nut i'm going to move on in a second of how exactly like i mentioned at the beginning of this video how i prep it just want to get it out of that freezer so the first thing i do is guys um when i pull out so say for scenario to be honest with you and there's no joke aside here this is actually cold. My brother's brought this down this morning. And this is this is straight out of the freezer. So what do I do? With the Parker Bates bag, you've got a lovely um, sealed off bit. You've also got like a Ziploc bit at the top. So if you don't use your whole bag within a session, you can zip it back up and put it in the freezer when you go, when you get home, sorry. So what I do is I start off with the 10 millis. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip them in there in a second. And obviously these are still really hard and frozen. What I tend to do is, and the ideal scenario I feel to get the best from your bait is to get them out 48 hours, 24 hours before, I like 48 hours before, and then I hit them with the two products that I'm going to show you in a second. So I've just tipped the 10 mil fruit and nut in the bucket, and you're probably thinking, what the hell is all them microscopic little food bits and little food particles? Well, what they are is, is we dust our baits here at Parker Bait, something completely different and new to the market. So when they, before, when they drop off the roller, they get dusted. When they come out the steamer, they get dusted again. Therefore, they get this lovely sort of glaze of food particles and various different things. There's also sort of, I would say, over 20 different food particles that get stuck. It's very different to the magic dust. But again, a bait that you can use straight out the bag if that is something that you do want to do. But look at them, absolutely beautiful. Right, so moving on to the fruit and nut sauce. Now this is great for uh, various reasons. I think one of them is being that it's a very thick, a very, very thick liquid. Therefore it drops straight to the bottom. It's got a lovely smell to it, a sort of a sweety, nutty, peanutty, tiger nutty aroma. And it sticks to the blade and leaves this lovely glaze on it. So what I'm gonna do is, it's gonna go in and I don't need to use the whole bottle. I've got a kilo of bait in there and I'm probably gonna probably look for around, I would say maybe half a bottle of this now. Or I would personally use, again, that's down to personal preference. I've got, <laughs> I've got customers that swear by using a whole bottle on a kilo and that is down to you. That's completely down to you. I like to use about this much is exactly what I'm gonna do now, guys. Get in here. So there it is. I've put, I've put the um, liquid in and obviously I've got it all over my hands there, but I'm a messy, a messy person. So what I do is I get my hands right in, get real, get it all on the bait. So it's all got a lovely glaze over it. And as you can see, it's already covering all them baits, lovely. And even, it's absolutely freezing, my hands are cold. <laughs> but look at them. They look absolutely beautiful, don't they? And already, again, you can see all like the, the tiger nut mirror on there. There's crushed hemp. There's obviously some Himalayan in there, some different CLO content. There's various different food particles that, again, that will stimulate the carp no end. And one thing to remember, or a massive thing to remember, should I say, is obviously these are straight out the bag. This is straight out the bag, and all I've done is added sauce to them. That's all I've done at the moment. Obviously, I'm going to add another product in a second, but I'll touch on that. 
So moving on, and I like to call it the magic in chip mat, the magic ingredient, and um, the name suits perfectly, magic dust. So magic dust is something that myself and Tom thought about for absolute months prior to even um, it hitting, obviously, the market. The, ma the magic dust, the fruit and nut magic dust, consists of in excess of 25 different food particles, loads of stimulate stimulators in there, and what I was finding um, over the last sort of decade of um, playing about with bait, or sorry, I say decade, I've been playing about bait for the last 20 years, but over the last 20 years, I've spent a hell of a lot of money buying loads of different powders for scenario sake, liver powders, squid extracts, things like this, very stimulating, things, very expensive. So what we've done as a business, as a family, we've went out, we've bought all these ingredients and we've weighed them up, we've put them in the perfect ratio, if it's 35 grams of that, 20 grams of that, it goes in on point every time. If it's not 21, it's 20. If it's not 19, it's 20. So what I'm trying to put across is we weigh all these um, food particles up, like I said, 25 plus, they go, in, they go into the magic dust, saving you guys a hell of a lot of money and just basically gets your gets your fit gets your fishing and more quicker when you're on the bank in regards to uh, bait prep which is what this video is all about magic dust what can you use this product on so you can use it on various different things I like it to enhance my hook baits so whether that be you put some flat spot bait spray or one of our sources on a hook bait you can then dunk the whole rig inside the pot it will stick to it naturally and enhance your hook baits something that I have seen a lot of the ambassadors doing they use little bits of this little bits of it the time the, the bottom of your PVA bag and what that does is that helps um, stop that hook point getting um, taken out by say pellet because this is very fine food particle you can also add it to your particle add it to pretty much anything you're fishing it's also great for a river scenario as well because being that there's so many fine different food particles it's going to obviously spread down that river and pull them fish up and something I'm actually playing about about playing about about the second at, at the moment but very quickly my favorite thing is boosting my boilies so what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna put this on in a second I'm gonna sprinkle some over and what I do is I do this like I said to you 48 hours before I add the sauce I add the magic dust to these baits or whatever baits I'm using at that particular time leave them for two days to um, uh, sort of evolve as a bait if you like get better infuse infuse it even more and make it better than it already is so the great thing about the the magic dust is um <laughs> my brother made a joke depending on how deep your pockets so are obviously you've got a big hole there and the smaller hole i like to use the bigger hole and that's not because my pockets are deep i can assure you but i can just control it get enough out there and it works absolutely perfect. You don't need much of this stuff. It really is a great product because of the different extracts that are within it. And it's also quite a potent product as well. Therefore, you don't need much. And again, you're probably gonna be thinking, Ben, you, me you messy man. But I'm gonna go in again and I'm gonna show you that finished product in a second. Would you look at them 10 millers? sexy in every single way shape and form like i said hundreds and hundreds of little food particles on them it smells fantastic i wish i had smell of vision it smells absolutely beautiful you got little bits of nut on there little bits of crushed hemp but obviously some himalayan coming through and that's just me touching on a couple of the food particles that i can see in front of me now but look at that <laughs> Right then guys, that is this video basically to a close and that was a bit more of an insight of how I prep my baits a couple of days before going fishing. Obviously a lot of you guys that watch the channel do not have the time um, when you're out on the bank anyway. So if you can maximise your chances by giving them a very good nutritional bait and boosting it like we have done today, you're going to give yourself that edge whilst on the bank. So. That is so, again, like I said, that's something different. How to, and if you if you do like these how tos, guys, get in the comments down below. But if you would like to see more how tos or how tos on various different things, please get in them comments. Let us know what you want to see, and myself and my brother can look at this and get these done and potentially upload throughout the week. So there it is. Like I mentioned, that was my video on how I prep my bait. I hope you like this video, guys. If you have, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you all very soon.